What's up guys, I'm Rustin from RustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFromRustinFrom
And then we're going to copy this part here where it says list disk, paste it there, hit enter. So this is my SD card here. I know it's my SD card because my SD card's about 16 gigabytes. Uh, you're going to want to be careful. You're not going to want to rewrite over your uh, hard drive. You'll know it's your hard drive because it'll be the, uh, the one with the most memory. See, this one has a 931 gigabyte uh, file size. We know that's probably drive C. And uh, we want to work with this one, disk one. This should be our SD card because it has 14 gigabytes. So yours might have eight gigabytes depending on the size of your SD card. So stay away from the bigger drive because that's your C drive. So now that, now that we know our uh, SD card, or at least mine is disk one, right? Now we're going to scroll down here. We're going to want to copy this. Oh, sorry. First type in exit down here. Type in exit, E-X-I-T, hit enter. Now we're going to want to copy this part here. So just copy this and paste it onto here. And we're going to want to replace this N over here where it says physical, physical where it says physical drive. And we're going to delete N and uh, type in the number of our disk. Mine is disk one. Yours could be different. So I'm going to type in one. Then we're going to hit enter. We're going to let it load. It should take at least five minutes to uh, finish. So once that's finished, it's going to say the operation completed successfully. You can uh, eject your uh, SD card and take that SD card, or sorry, the micro SD card and connect it to your Raspberry Pi 2. So uh, once you've connected the, that SD card to your Raspberry Pi 2, also connect the HDMI cable to your monitor. Make sure uh, that that Raspberry Pi has an internet connection. You connect uh, the internet cable to your modem. Uh, you also have a uh, mouse and keyboard connected to the Raspberry Pi and also the power cable connected. If you finish that, we can move on to the next step.